Ron, uh, can you talk about the journey that the parking spots took in modernizing their techno your, your technology throughout the years? Oh, I've tried a lot of things, Alex. <laughs> but, yeah, actually, just to build off of Jane's point uh, and Sam's for that matter, is the personalization and the upselling. Um, we've actually seen pretty good success with uh, presenting our customers based on what we know, you know, that their preferences are. Um, to upsell them at time of booking and also after the fact to say, hey, you know, there may be a snowstorm coming. Are you sure you don't want to park in covered or are you sure you don't want your car valeted? Um, there may be a, you know, a dust storm coming in Arizona. Are you sure you don't want your uh, uh, car washed while you're, you know, parked with us? Um, so it's like those ancillary services or the premium, you know, get dropped off first, get picked up. Um, so yeah, so we made we made use of a lot of the upselling, and we you know we've got a pretty extensive data analytics department. But from an overall technology perspective, um, at the parking spot, we effectively ripped and replaced every single system that we've had. It was very very disconnected uh, when I first started working here uh, about ten years ago, and we we just kind of threw everything out and just rebuilt uh, from scratch. It's our back end, our data architecture, our APIs, um, and really the the products, and then the digital products came after that. So we never even had an app or a mobile website um, and our users are mobile. Um, so the thing that kind of brought it all together is, uh, and we partnered with data art throughout all of this development uh, for about, I think it's at least eight years now, Alex, maybe longer, <laughs> but um, we developed our uh, park system, the parking uh, access and revenue control system. So it's the gates, the cashier system, or cashier stations, a column unit. So it really is a point of sale system that was customized to us because we couldn't really find anything in the industry at the time. Um, <clears throat> so that that system is kind of the middle of all of this technology. And quite frankly, it touches all of our customers, all of our employees. Um, we're all dependent on it. It collects all of our revenue. So um, just from an innovation standpoint, we were the first um, that have done this, um, you know, from a customization perspective yes there's companies out there that provide these systems but uh, we truly customize it to all of our needs and we built it with that kind of platform in mind um, not something that we were you know going to market to sell we were using it for us so i think we're right at the top of the hour alex i don't know if you have sam or james are giving some thoughts well perhaps one all right one, maybe one. i'm moderating now <laughs> Perhaps one more question to James, and this is really um, a little bit of a forward facing. Uh, where, uh, in which areas does Stripe invest to enable better experience for travelers? What are the next things that are coming up? Yeah, absolutely. So I guess I guess two things we've really hit on a lot is is this idea of kind of local relevant payments, letting people pay and check out the way they want to pay. And then the second one we really hit on is this world of, I suppose, subscriptions and, and ancillaries. Something we haven't touched on, but I'm I'm now more passionate than I've ever been, is this idea of ecosystems. And I think Sam really summed it up well with talking about these partnerships. What is your ecosystem, right? How are you thinking about um, you know, putting in front of guests a whole range of options around their stay, around their trip. And then frankly, behind the scenes, how on earth are you going to manage that? Because I still see people sending out, you know, dumb invoices where you then have to log into a bank account and put in your bank details. Well, you should be sending out invoices with a, a Stripe link and someone just clicks and they pay you straight away. And then you upgrade to connect, which is actually you could just move money with the click of a button through dashboards. And everyone's got the same view of the guests and how much money was spent and what fees are owed. And so we're moving into this world, I think, where we can start to build ecosystems, not just in our own businesses, but between, you know, OTAs, providers and suppliers and between different types of suppliers in the guest journey. And so the guest gets a great experience wherever they choose to enter that ecosystem. And we know that we can move money behind the scenes in you know, one click with one view, view of the truth safely and securely. Mm -hmm.